So let's take a look at the FMC. The MCDU displays 14 lines in which you can enter 24 characters. The display is divided into three different parts. The first one is the title part, right here, where, the, where it says menu. The second one are the six text lines right here. And the third one is the scratch pad down here. Now the scratch pad enables you to enter your desired data into the text lines. And you'll see later on that when you enter information in the scratch pad, you just need to click on one of the line select keys here or here to enter the information in the text lines. So click on FMC. The first page is the identification page giving you basic information about your plane, like the model, the engines, the ARAC, etc. Click on position initialization. Our reference airport is LFPG. Now we're going to set IRS systems to align. and we're going to get those boxes here so we want to set the IRS position so we're going to down select the GPS position by clicking on the GPS position line and now this line will appear in the scratch pad and we want to up select the information from the scratch pad into the set IRS position line by just clicking on this line select key we can put IRS switches to nav. So now we're going to enter our route. Click on route. Origin airport is LFPG. Destination airport is KLAX. And we can activate the flight plan. I click on performance initialization. Click on the line select key next to zero fuel weight and the FMC is automatically going to calculate the zero fuel weight and we have to enter the reserves. I'm going to put in 10, cost index 100 which isn't simulated. Cruising altitude is 26,000 feet. You can now click on the thrust limit now this is the takeoff thrust performance and climb thrust performance. So it's basically you can choose the amount of thrust available on takeoff and on climb, but it's not very important, especially in flight simulator. So now takeoff page, um, wheel enter uh, that information after entering the flight plan. So you can click on the route here, go back on this page, and click on next page to enter the waypoints. So the first waypoint we want to enter is YEG, and enter it right here under 2. Second one is RIO. Third one is FMG and last one is Derb. Now the flight plan gives us airways to fly. So for example the airway between Yeg and Rio is airway J537. So to enter that in the FMC click enter J5 7 and scratch pad and click enter it and under the via and the via column right here and do the same for the other airways J7 J7 now we're going to enter the or choose our SID so we're going to click on the departure arrival page on departure and the SID we're flying today is Agopa 1Y and we'll be departing runway 27 left 
so now we can click on a route and execute that so it's gonna actually confirm our flight plan now we want to go to the legs page because as you can see there's a route discontinuity line right here and you can see it right here so we're going to delete it click on delete and click on the line you want to delete now there's another one right here you want to do the same thing and press on execute and now we have a smooth flight plan and just another little thing about the flight plan we you know we don't want to exceed 250 knots when we're below 10,000 feet so we're going to correct the speed right here so we're going to enter 250 slash 2200 and click on this line select like key right here and you see it changed the data in here and we're going to do the same right here 250 slash 3500 here and now execute that so the last thing we want to do is click on the initialization reference page enter our takeoff flap configuration which is 20 degrees and you'll see speeds appear right here so we want to select those speeds and they will appear right here there's just V1 because V rotate and V2 are, are higher up in the in the speed indicator and now if you click on the this line right here CG you're gonna get the trim settings that you need for takeoff and that's all for the before takeoff procedures for the FMC so we're now climbing to 26,000 feet so we're heading towards our next waypoint PG282 now if you click on the VNAV button it's gonna give you the your climb configuration and so here you have the cruising altitude the um, cruising speed speed restriction 250 knots below 10,000 feet you have your next waypoint the altitude you'll be at and the speed here you got transition altitude and that's the important stuff to know for when you're climbing to your cruising altitude if you press on navrad here that's to enter so your VOR frequent the VOR frequencies and the course selector you can also enter the NDB an NDB frequency and an ILS frequency so that's more for uh, approaches and if you click on the program pro progress sorry button then you have um, in-flight information like the waypoint you just passed is PJ PG282 our next waypoint is RBT our destination is KLAX uh, our speed our fuel and then it's gonna the FMC shows us the estimated fuel at each waypoint 